Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today is my sample project pan update for you guys. You guys know I'm trying to get through like a little over 200 of my samples this year. So far, it's the end of March, and I haven't done an amazing job, but I'm learning how to work through products differently, if that makes sense. So like my shower products, I'm learning how to rotate them in with my full size products so I don't neglect my full sizes. And my beauty products, I've learned how to use them the way I like them. And instead of just using them just because they're a sample and I want to use it up, if that makes sense. So I hope you guys enjoy this update. Once again, I will be showing you all my empties at the beginning of this video with close-ups. And then I will be showing you my progress on some of the other items that I have going right now, just so you guys can kind of see how long it takes me to use things. And if you have any opinions on how to use them better, please let me know in the comments down below. Hello, but until then, let's just get on into it. Okay, so this is my little bin o empties. I'm gonna put that on, like a hashtag bin o empties. <laughs> okay, so okay, the first sample that I have to show for you guys is this Platinum Skincare Basics Day Cream, and this one I was actually using as a night cream because I I'm really picky with my day cream, so I really didn't want to use this as a day cream because it did seem a little bit clogging to the pores but it was a fine night cream. I wouldn't repurchase to be honest. And when I showed you guys this sample last time, I actually had two uses left. I had to get a Q-tip and dig in the bottom of here to get the rest of it out. But honestly, I'm really glad it's done and I wouldn't repurchase. I do like the smell though. The smell has like a very citrusy fresh scent. It's really nice. The second thing I emptied was a shower product and this was the Noviax Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. It is all empty, completely gone. And this one, like I said, was only one more use from the last empty or last empties that I had. And I wouldn't repurchase this either. It wasn't conditioning enough. It wasn't thick enough for me to be a deep conditioning hair mask. I didn't feel like it was anything special. Honestly, I just felt like it was a regular conditioner. And the fact that it is in this tub was ridiculous to me because I had to like scoop my fingers down in there to get everything. And that was just obnoxious. So would I repurchase this? No, I did appreciate the fact that it had argon oil in it because then it did seem to make my hair pretty smooth. But I noticed that every time after I was done using this, my hair was super frizzy. And I mean like ridiculously frizzy the next day. And I would just let it air dry just like I am right now. Sorry, my hair is wet currently. I just got out of the shower not too long ago. But I would just let it air dry and it seemed so intensely frizzy after. And I'm like, man, like, no, I, I don't want frizzy hair. Like, no. Anyway, so I would not repurchase this at all. Even if it was in like a regular squeezy tub or something like that, I just, it wasn't for me. The next one was a product that I am not super excited about, but it did seem to work. And it is the Heather Mariana Collagen Gel Lip Mask. And it was literally just like, lips. It was so weird. The size of this on my lips was obnoxious. Like it was the whole bottom of my face. You guys see how big that is? Like it's my nose to my chin. It's bigger than that. It was so obnoxious looking on me. I had to like open my mouth to make it like even sort of a good size for me. So honestly, I could have used like half the size of this for my lips because I have very small lips, but it did seem to moisturize pretty nicely. It does slide around quite a bit. It was like a very jelly consistency, but if I was laying there just watching TV or playing on my phone or whatever, kind of like with my head tilted back with the a mask on my lips. It did seem to work very nicely when I peeled it off. Um, would I repurchase? Probably. Honestly, I wasn't in love with the scent of this one, but if I found another one that was similar with the same kind of aspect of the moisturizing on your lips, I would probably repurchase this to be totally honest. It wasn't my favorite one. Like I said, it was way too big. So I look for something that was a little bit smaller for my lips. Um, 
but yeah it was extremely moisturizing it did seem to soften my lips overnight and because I would use this at night before bed and it seemed like I didn't even need my um, chapstick to go on after because it was very moisturizing it did leave a weird taste like if I licked my lips at all like after it was off it did seem to have a very not a very good taste like a very chemical type taste which I didn't like but my lips did feel very moisturized after so I would trade that taste for how good my lips felt because I have extremely extremely dry lips especially right now as we're coming out of the winter time so I would repurchase this I did enjoy it too big though um I don't know we'll see about that one so this sample empty I feel like I've been working on for forever and I'm so proud to finally have it done. I know this one's going to be a little ridiculous, but it is a makeup sample empty. And it is the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Dolly. And I am just so happy to have this out. I did end up taking the stopper out of here and it lasted for about a solid week after the stopper was out. But yeah, I mean... I loved this one. The shade is perfect. It's like a very universal shade and I feel like it could work with any skin tone. It was very hydrating and moisturizing on the lips. As I was getting to the very end of the product in here, it did feel a little bit um, gritty on my lips, which I was chalking it up to maybe the little bit of glitter that's in here or maybe just the fact that it was getting old and it had been opened for so many times and you know, just the fact that it had been getting a lot of usage, but I did really enjoy this. I am happy to have it gone. I have a couple of the Dolly lip polishes in my collection, so I plan on starting to work on those and my White Russians. But yeah, I am so happy. I would obviously repurchase this. I have tons of these and I love them. And they do give like a little bit of that tingling sensation on the lips and a little bit of a plumping aspect, which I do appreciate. And yeah, I loved this one. I'm so happy to finally have it gone, but this was the perfect size for in my scrub jacket. It was nice and small, compact, and I did feel like I got a ton of uses out of this. I think if I would have used this solid every single day, I would have gotten two months of use out of this. So I was very, very happy to use this up. And yeah, of course I would repurchase the... And the next empty I have is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Just this little tiny lotion bottle. This one, it was the same thing. I would put it in my pocket at work and it fit perfectly in there. It was nice and flat and compact. And I wash my hands about a billion times at work every single day. So it was very nice to have this little moisturizing lotion in there. I did enjoy it. I have repurchased... I have purchased Aveeno many times. My mother swears by Aveeno, so I've always had this in my house when I lived with her. And then obviously I do purchase it on occasion on my own, but it is just a moisturizing lotion. It's very thick, but it goes and sinks into your skin very quickly, which I appreciated because then I didn't get that layer of oil left on my skin, especially while I was at work and dealing with papers and stuff like that and people. Um, but yeah, I would definitely repurchase this, especially to maybe refill this little bottle because it was nice to have something to have at work. The next empties I have are the Swartzkopf Gliss Hair Repair with Liquid Keratin Ultra Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner for dry or stressed hair. And it says intense hydration and softness. Um, and then the shampoo says intense hydration and repair. So. These ones, you guys know that I've emptied the black one, the black version, like the black bottle of this one before, and I liked that one so much more. This one I did like, but I'm not gonna run out and go and buy it right now. I probably actually won't buy this one in the future at all, just because I liked the black version better, and they cost the same amount, so why wouldn't I, why wouldn't I buy the one that I liked more? Um, it, the shampoo was not cleansing enough for my scalp. I did know Notice that I had some shampoo residue and I'm very very good about washing all of the shampoo and conditioner out of my hair because my hair does tend to hold on to residue near my scalp so I make sure to scrub my scalp extremely well and this did using it days in a row did leave a 
residue on my scalp, which I didn't appreciate, but I just used my Herbal Essences shampoo and conditioner, and that got it right off, so there's that and I didn't feel like this really made my hair as moisturized as it could be after a shampoo and conditioner so I would not repurchase this one I would repurchase the black bottle version of this but it was nice to have for a sample I mean I didn't pay for this one at all I think it came as a free sample with something and yeah I mean I was glad to use it up but I wouldn't repurchase the next sample empty is this Biobel or Biobel facial mask and this is the hashtag primer and it's with tea tree oil, rosehip extract, and vitamin C. It enhances radiance, minimizes pores, and even skin tone. And it says prep the skin for a flawless makeup application. I did use this as my makeup primer before my moisturizer after a shower and I loved it. As you guys know in my other sample empties, the other Biobel mask that I used, I think that it broke me out and I was thinking well if that one breaks me out then they'll all probably break me out. This one did not break me out at all. It was so soft and hydrating on the skin. I put on my makeup after and it went on flawlessly. It was amazing how well it went on and I even had a few breakouts when I ended up using this so I was extremely surprised. I think it's the fact that it has the tea tree Oil, tea tree oil my skin reacts extremely well to tea tree oil also it had the vitamin C and rosehip extract which I know are really really good for your facial skin and just for your skin in general but I really enjoyed this one I want to pick up more but as you guys know I have tons of face masks that I'm trying to work through another reason why I really liked this is because it's a mask that you only had to leave on your skin for five minutes I ended up leaving it on for about eight minutes just because I kind of lost track of time watching a YouTube video um, while I was wearing it but it didn't seem like it was too wet on the skin I did rinse a little bit of the extra um, of the serum off just because I don't like to have my skin too serum-y. If I would have had to wait for that serum to dry, it would have taken a lot longer to put on my makeup. So I would definitely recommend this to you guys if you're looking for a nice flawless application. But honestly, I would only recommend it if you have the time in the morning to do this. I wouldn't use this one after makeup, which I do feel like you definitely could, but I thought it worked so well before my makeup that I was completely satisfied with it. And I would honestly repurchase this if I am running out of masks or really feel like I want that priming step in my makeup routine in the mornings. I would definitely purchase this one. I was so incredibly happy with it. So there's another empty down. And the final empty, I am so proud to tell you guys. I can't even tell you how proud I am of myself. But it, I actually finished it this morning putting on my contour. And it is the What Up Beaches Matte Bronzer by Elizabeth Mott. And I completely finished this pan. I am so happy. I haven't finished one of these little tiny samples ever, whether it be an eyeshadow, a bronzer, a blush, anything like that. I've never finished one of these because I always get bored of it or end up throwing it away or I end up donating it or whatever. And I ended up finishing this one and I am so proud of myself. And not only that, but it was the most beautiful contour. I do have it today on as my contour. I didn't have much left of it, to be totally honest. I would have liked to use a little bit more, but I was just so happy to finally finish it up today. And it was the perfect tone for me. It wasn't too warm tone. It didn't look too orange on the skin. And it also didn't look too gray or muddy on the skin, which I really appreciated. So if you have similar skin tone as me, then I would definitely recommend recommend it. The full size version is only $25. I have purchased the full size version already. Using this like twice, I think I ended up purchasing the full size and it's such a beautiful one. It does have like the slightest shade difference of color when you swatch them together. Obviously, I cannot swatch them together anymore. If you guys check out my bronzer declutter, I can link that video down below in the description box. 
But if you check out my bronzer declutter, then I swatch them both next to each other and they do have the slightest difference of tone, but I really don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But I am so happy to show you guys this freaking empty pan. It feels so good to finish this up. Even though the sample was like a little over a dollar, I don't care. It feels so good to use it up and I found a product that I absolutely love for my contour that looks perfect with my skin and I was using this all throughout the winter and when I got tan after I went to Florida so honestly this works with my skin either way I would just do a very light coating of it in the winter time when I was very fair and obviously a bit more and a bit heavier after I went to Florida so I'm so proud of myself for using up this little guy here and I definitely recommend it to you guys even if you're a bit lighter toned than me or a bit darker toned than me I really think it would work for you. They do have a luminous version as well, which I have not tried yet, but this matte version is fantastic. I loved it. And like I said, I am just so proud to have this freaking empty van. I can't even believe it. I can't believe it. So proud. Okay, so those were all of my empties that I actually ended up using up for all of my sample empties, but I do have two sample empties that I am going to be throwing away in the garbage because they went bad. So the first one is by Delectable, and it is the Everything Balm. This was in one of my very first Ipsy bags, and I think it just got, it's, it just got old, like... The product inside is like clumping together and honestly at first I was using this as a lip balm when I first got it and I didn't like it as that and then I was using it as face face moisturizer I tried it as a face moisturizer and it completely clogged my pores and then I just kind of put it to the side and I was like I don't want to use that anymore and then I found it trying to use up and gather all of my sample empty or all of my sample products that I had for this project and I've been using this as a cuticle cream and I don't like it as that either and the fact that it's got those clumpies inside there that it never had before I'm just ready to get rid of this I was using it as a cuticle cream for quite a long time and I've gotten through half of this bottle so I'm calling half of it garbage and the other half I am putting in the money factor for this project pan so I will put in the numbers up here to show you the numbers that I used on this but honestly I'm really happy this is gone I would not repurchase this at all it didn't do anything special for me it was kind of a wasted product in my opinion so I wouldn't repurchase it even though the full size is only like $16 it's not worth it for me and the very last sample product that I am going to be throwing away is this Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil. I was using this a bit in the winter time on my dry spots. I really did like it, but the fact that it's got like a mold factor here. So do you guys see like right here on the bottom of the tube, there's like a bit of like mold starting. It's right there. I hope you guys can see that. I don't know if that's mold or if it's just like dry skin because it is a rollerball. So when you put it on your skin, you're like rollerballing it on your skin. So I don't know if it's that fact and it's just like dead skin in there. But either way, that's really gross. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. That's just kind of disgusting. And I thought I could use it, but then like the fact that it just kind of like sits on the surface. I don't know. It creeps me out. I don't want to use it and and possibly get like a face breakout or infection or something because it's nasty in there. I just, it's not worth it for me. So I am factoring this in my products that I'm throwing away, not in my empties, because as you can see, it's still completely full. I've only used this maybe 10 or 15 times. I really did like it when I was using it, but it's not worth it for me to try to use it up and possibly risk getting an infection or something from it because I am putting on my face. So this is going in my empties to throw away. Okay guys, so now some of the samples that I am currently working through right now. I have my raw sugar body wash, raw coconut and mango shower wash. And I have quite a bit of this left. I did finish the full size product that I was using in my shower. So now I am using this up until it is gone. I have probably about a week or two left of usage in here. 
Then I have my Dr. Lily Fan Probiotic Recovering Cream Anti-Aging Moisturizer. I've used this now only 33 times and I only have this tiny little bit left. So this is about four more days of usage every single night. So that'll be in the next sample empties. Then I picked out this from the one of the hotels on the way to Florida and this is the Rain Kiss Leaves Body Lotion by Bath & Body Works. It's just like a small little size that they put in the bathrooms for free. This is what I'm going to be putting in my coat when I go to work so that I have a hand cream for work. Then I have this Way Hair Care Treatment Mask and I did use some of this today but it's definitely still got a use or two left in here so that should be gone here very soon. Then I have this Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser and my Tatcha Pure One Stop Camilla, Camilla Cleansing Oil that I have been using together to take off my makeup. These are probably going to be empties at the same time although my Tatcha one I have it's probably only right here gone. So I have quite a bit of usage left in that and this one's gonna be gone fairly soon. So hopefully this Tasha will work with other ones as well. Then I put this one next to my bed. For now, it is halfway gone. It is right here, I will mark it. But this is the Pacifica Natural Body Care Island Vanilla Intensely Moisturizing Body Butter. So I am using this, and it also has with shea and mango butter, so yeah. But I am using this as a hand cream for my nighttime routine and just to kind of, you know, lotion my hands when I need it, when I'm in bed. That makes sense. Then I have this Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer and this one's almost gone. I did use it today and it was kind of hard to get product out so this would be, this should be done very soon. <clears throat> then an eye cream that I use every night is the Platinum Skin Care Platinum Eyes and here we are on that. It is getting down to the wire. This honestly though I still have probably about two weeks of constant use on that because I only use a little bit. And the Hanalei Sugar Lip Scrub, which I thought was going to be gone by this one, but I had a little bit more usage in there than I thought. But this will be gone by the next update, hopefully. <laughs> then I have the Black Mask. This is a charcoal peel-off mask, and I think I'm going to use this. I have been breaking out a little bit, so I think this would be helpful. So I'm going to try to use that before the next update. And then, what else do I have? And then I have the Tarte Friction Stick. I have been using this quite frequently, but I still have a lot of product left in there. Sorry about the nastiness that that looks, but it's wet because I use it. <laughs> so I use that to take off my makeup at night. Then I have the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. This is the never ending eye cream. I love it so much. It really does awaken and depuff my eyes before makeup, so I love that one. Then I have the Dermalogica Daily Micro Microfoliant. I think this is about a little less than halfway or a little bit more than halfway gone, but I think this broke me out the last time I used it. I'm going to try it one more time and if it breaks me out again, I'm just going to get rid of it. It's very, very old anyways, so I'm not going to be sad and I've gotten a lot of use out of it. And then finally, the Soap and Glory Face Soap and Clarity Vitamin C Facial Wash. And here we are on it today. I know last time it was like up here, so I've gotten quite a bit of use out of that. And I'm super happy that this is probably going to be gone by the next update. So I feel like I'm doing really, really well with some of these products. Oh, and I wanted to do one more. I opened a sample foil pack of the Too Faced Born to Glow foundation because I've never tried this and I got the shade Nude. And here it is in here because it was kind of gross to keep it in this little sample. And I did use this foundation on my face today and I think my face looks freaking flawless today. Just saying. It is a medium or is it a medium coverage foundation and this is what I'm using to you know kind of judge the amount off of. I have other ones. 
I have three other colors of that. I have vanilla, which I'm assuming is going to be a little bit lighter. I have warm nude, which I'm assuming is going to be more orange toned. And then I have light beige, which I think I have two of these. So I think I'm going to go to this one next. And then, I don't know, in the summertime, I'm going to try to use the warm nude because I think right now it's going to be too warm toned for me. So I am going to try to use up all of these little sample packs here soon of this foundation. But so far I'm not calling this one an empty because I do still have product left. So this one will be in my next product empties, hopefully. I always say hopefully because I never know what I'm going to be in the mood for, you know? I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this sample empties. I know you guys like seeing the updates on some of the products that I'm working on. I didn't include all of the products in here because if I didn't use it and I, then I don't have any usage on it, then I'm not going to share it because you guys saw it in my last one. So hopefully you guys will be seeing some of these in my empties and maybe some other things that I work on throughout time here in these next couple weeks. But thank you guys so much for checking out my channel if you are new here and make sure to leave what you're emptying out down below and any comments on any of these empties that I did or did not like and why you guys like them or not because I'm always curious to see your guys' opinion, especially on that hashtag primer mask. If you guys have used that, let me know if you like it because I freaking love that. Like, I want to use another one tomorrow. Like, I don't know. It was really nice. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.